Hey guys, it's Jonathan, the HUD King. I want to thank you for watching my videos. I've been doing these videos for six years now, and I'd like to ask you a favor. Please share my videos with your friends or anyone you know that might be looking for a home. You never know who I might be able to help. Thanks, and on to the video. Hi, and welcome to HUDKing.com, your source for real virtual tours in HUD homes in and around the San Antonio area. If you're watching this on HUDKing.com, click on the bird to follow us on Twitter, click on the F to follow us on Facebook, or click on the YouTube link to be taken to our YouTube page. While you're at our YouTube page, if you click on the subscribe button, you'll be instantly notified of new uploaded videos. Now on to the home. We are here in Alvin, Texas. Alvin is located just south of Houston. We're in the Kendall Lakes subdivision, a very beautiful neighborhood. We're standing in front of 4706 High Creek Court. That's 4706 High Creek Court. This is a beautiful four bedroom, three and a half bath, two story home. It has a two car garage. It's approximately 2,825 square feet. It was built in 2008. And this home sits on about a 6,000 square foot lot. It's in great condition on the exterior. It's a combination of brick and hardy plank. It really doesn't need anything. It's a pretty new neighborhood. They are still building homes in this community and there are some really pretty lakes. So it has a really nice uh, entry to the neighborhood. Could possibly use a little power washing on this side up top. There's a little bit of mildew, but that's pretty minor. And then you have a pretty nice front porch here with a really high ceiling. We'll look at the backyard and then we'll look at the inside. Well, we step into the backyard off of the little breakfast dining area. Pretty standard residential backyard. Not much frills. Exterior wise, it's going to need a little bit of work on some of the trim. A few pieces of the siding are damaged right below the door here. You'll see there's a little bit of damaged siding here. And then over on this side of the patio, you'll see this little corner is damaged. It's pretty minor. Let's look at the inside. Well, when we step into the home, you immediately notice there is no carpeting on the staircase. Let me turn this light off. It might be... Not sure if that's going to help or not, but there's no, there's no lighting on the staircase, or no carpeting on the staircase. There's also a fair amount of damage to the home, unfortunately, but it's a good thing because damage means you can usually get the home for a better price. As you'll see in the entryway here, there is some pieces of the wall that's damaged. So, so it's going to need some sheetrock repair. To the left here, we have your formal dining room, really high ceilings. I think that's nice. And this in turn opens up into your kitchen, but we'll come to that in a second. This room is going to need a fresh coat of paint and it's going to need some flooring. If we continue through, you'll notice some more sheetrock damage. Over here to the left, we have a little half bath and the half bath is going to need some sheetrock repairs. It looks like there may have been a, a leak up in the ceiling. So you're going to want to repair that. Luckily, sheetrock repair is pretty easy to do. So that's not that big of a deal in my opinion. We come over and we have your indoor laundry room. Your washer and dryer connections are here. And then we have your Two-car garage, a pretty standard two-car garage. Now the whole house is going to need flooring and painting and then sheetrock work. That's about the majority of what it's going to need. You can see there is some sheetrock that was removed here, potentially from a water leak. It almost looks as if there is a water stain in the beams there up top, so you probably want to investigate that. It could just be a case of vandalism, potentially the previous owners you know, had a sour taste in their mouth for losing their home. So we have the kitchen here. We have granite countertops, which is nice. Come over here and we have that access into your formal dining room. Now there is some flooring uh, sheetrock damage there. They pulled this cabinet off of the wall and then you can see the exposed uh, ceiling there. I would investigate any water leaks and then patch that. And probably if you get a good contractor, you won't even be able to tell. So granite countertops throughout the kitchen. It's going to need some, some drawers and some Maybe a little bit of granite work. As you can see here, there's a piece of granite that's damaged, unfortunately, but there is ceramic tile on the floor in the kitchen. You have your breakfast area here, that door that takes you outside, and then your big family room here. Now, the big family room is going to need carpeting and a little bit of sheetrock work and paint. And then we come over and we have the master bedroom down here on the first level, which is always a perk. Master bedroom is going to need a little bit of sheetrock work, some flooring, and some painting. We come over to the master bath. Master bath it does have dual vanities. You have a vanity here, a little bit taller one, usually for the male. You have a garden tub, secondary vanity here. You have a little linen closet, then your water closet, which is your commode. And you have a separate shower, which is nice. Separate shower here. And then we have your master walk-in closet. So master walk-in closet, good size closet. It does have some built-ins. 
I do like that there's granite on the, or there's ceramic tile on the floor in the master bath. I think that's a perk. So downstairs, a fair amount of sheetrock work and painting and flooring. We'll take a look upstairs at the additional bedrooms. And as you can see on the staircase, you're going to want to put in new flooring, whether it's carpet or wood. We get upstairs and you have a huge upstairs living room, very large living room. We'll go to the left here. You're going to want to repair some damaged holes in the wall. But like I said, that's kind of easy to do. We come over, we have full bathroom number two here. Full bath number two is going to need some sheetrock work, but it's a shower and tub combo. Your commode and then a little linen closet. Right next to that we have bedroom number two. Bedroom number two is going to need some sheetrock work, some flooring, and a door. You're missing a door there. Across from the big open living room, we'll continue. And at the back of the home here, we have bedroom number three. Bedroom number three is going to need a fresh coat of paint, a little bit of sheetrock work, and some flooring. Then we have full bathroom number two. I'm sorry, full bathroom number three, which is basically a single vanity. You're going to want to probably change the mirror. It does have cheap linoleum flooring. We have a shower and tub combo, and then we have your commode. And then lastly, we have bedroom, bedroom number four. Bedroom number four is going to need a little bit of sheetrock work, as you can see right here some painting, and some flooring. So that's about it. Big, beautiful home in a very nice area. It is going to need some work, obviously. Let me come over here and show you this little additional storage. So this is a little storage room in the attic. You could sheetrock this in and have just an additional pretty large storage area. So the home will need some work, but it is under county, it is under market value. Let me give you a summary. Well, there you have it, 4706 High Creek Court. That's 4706 High Creek Court, a very big 2,800 square foot, four bedroom home. It does need some work. It's about $6,000 underneath the county appraisal, but I think it could really be nice. And it's listed right now for only $217,000. So if you're interested in this home and you don't have a realtor, I would love to earn your business. You can reach me at 210-706-0616. My name is Jonathan. I am the HUD King, and I want to help you find your castle.